Your Daily 180, 180 Seconds of Pure Bible Study. We're talking about the work of the Holy Spirit and miracles in the early church. And what about miracles today? Well, yesterday we finished up looking at 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Chapter 12 talks about miraculous gifts. Chapter 14 regulates miraculous gifts at that time. And 1 Corinthians 13 says you better focus on love because miracles are going to end. And he says in verse number eight, love never fails. It never comes to an end. But whether there are prophecies, they will fail. They're going to end. Whether there are tongues, miraculous languages, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. Now I want you to get this. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. They didn't have the complete revelation that we do today. And then he says, but when that which is perfect, the inspired, inerrant, perfect will of God, the complete New Testament, when that has come, then that which is in part, miraculous knowledge, will be done away. Now get this, Paul says, when I was a child, I spoke as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. You know, there are certain things that are appropriate in an infancy stage. In the early age of the church, certain things were necessary and appropriate. Think about it like this with me, if you would. Let's use the metaphor of a church building. They're building a church building, and as they're building that building, they're, they put up some scaffolding. The scaffolding is absolutely necessary in the early stages of the construction. They've got to carry bricks up, they've got to carry windows up, and they have all that scaffolding around the building. But then when the building is complete, they begin taking the scaffolding down. And someone comes along and says, hey, why are you taking the scaffolding down? Well, we don't need the scaffolding anymore. The building is complete. But I like the scaffolding. Well, but we don't need the scaffolding anymore. That was for the early stages of this construction. You see, that's the way miracles were. Miracles served a very special purpose in the early stages of the church before they had the complete revealed will of God available for everyone. But now that it's revealed, we don't need those miracles anymore. That's what God's word says in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. As we think about that, I want you to continue studying with us in future lessons. We're going to be looking specifically at what the Holy Spirit does for us through the word. I hope you'll join us for these important lessons. Thank you for being with us and join us again for your daily 180.